a big hello to all my patrons. Uh, welcome to what I'm going to call Jen in real life. The kids are losing the house and the husband's cooking dinner and, you know, <laughs> here we are. I'm recording this today because we are looking at the full moon. It is June 27th, and depending on who you ask, the full moon is either today or tomorrow or both. <laughs> and uh, this one is a little bit of a doozy. It's um, combined with Mars being retrograde and a bunch of other planets being retrograde. And so it's a little bit more intense, and it's very much about reflection over how far we've come this year. Um well, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, well, we're six months into the year. That makes a whole lot of sense, too. And it's a time for us to look at how far we've come, where we're going, the momentum that we're picking up. And also, you know, like any full moon, we just have to remember that things have a tendency to seem more intense. Now, that's not true across the board for everybody. Um, my best friend is, well, she has a harder time around the new moon than the full moon. And that makes sense, too. You know, new moon is all about emptiness. Um well, fertility, if you look at it correctly. So here with this full moon, let's make sure that we're allowing ourselves to feel what we feel. And, you know, if, if it's intense, just let it be. Remember that that passes. And it's all that intensity of momentum, right? Um, one of the analogies that's been around me a lot lately is the idea of that old-fashioned water pump right? You pump and you pump and you pump and nothing happens and nothing happens and nothing happens. And then whoosh, it comes, right? The water comes flooding out. And we have to remember that this is true for pretty much everything that we do. It takes steady drive and focus. And if we're thinking every minute, when's it coming? When's it coming? All we do is slow things down. So Enjoy the intensity of this time as much as you can. If it's not affecting you, be grateful and do recognize that it's affecting the majority of the people around you, right? Your family, your loved ones, certainly people at work, strangers in traffic, <laughs> all of that. Things have a tendency to be just a little bit more intense. And as this new uh, full moon does pass away here in the next, you know, 24, 48 hours, do think about how we utilize the moon's energy moving towards the new moon. It takes about two weeks to get to the new moon, and that time is spent with release. If you spend that time thinking about what am I letting go of with intention, then we do get to that new moon, and it feels like that calm fertility. It's that time when we feel really calm because we've ripped all the weeds out of the garden and planted seeds and before we know it we will have flowers so rest through this frustration if that's what it brings for you and consider maybe even journal about what am I letting go of what is my plan for these next two weeks as I build towards that place of new fertility till next time beloved Namaste.